Trump. So let's move to your second chart uh, about what a Trump plan would actually do to the economy if implemented the way he's pitching it. Yeah, so why are these economists so opposed to Trump's plan? Because the economic effects would be pretty terrible. Uh, this is a study done by Bloomberg uh, Economics, and they found that Harris's plan did not have much change in either the GDP or inflation, which in a sense is a good thing at this point. But look at what Trump's plan would do. Trump's plan would cut the GDP by 8.9%. And let me put that in perspective for you. This is roughly twice the amount that the GDP went down during the financial crisis. Wow. So we would be looking at something between a recession and a depression. And interestingly, as we, I'm sure we've, you, people know because we've talked about this many times, the, the tariffs would, would cause certainly a part of this. But the biggest cause, actually, of this drop are the mass deportations that Trump is talking about mm. because he would take huge pieces of our labor force out of the country, send them back to or send them somewhere else, and the result would be uh, business wouldn't have labor. They wouldn't be able to produce things, and you'd have this enormous economic contraction. So this is, this is something we've never seen before wow. uh, in terms of scoring a set of policy proposals from a presidential candidate. Uh, the other reason why Trump, why Harris seems to be doing better or maybe doing better for her economic thoughts relative to Trump is maybe people are figuring out what's actually in these two plans. And one of the most important things in these two plans are the differences in their tax proposals. Harris's tax proposal would raise incomes for people at the bottom 20 percent, for people in the 20 to 40 percent percentile by fairly significant amounts. She would... Uh, cut as you raise taxes for people at the higher incomes down here in the 99 to 100 and the 95 to 99. Trump does the opposite, does the opposite. He raises after tax incomes for people at the highest incomes up here. And believe it or not, if you're at the bottom, Trump's tax plan would actually increase your taxes uh, slightly. So maybe people are figuring out these kinds of differences and changing their view of her, tech, of her economic plan versus Trump's economic plan.